a serious allegation to make, sir. Uh, could I have your name? Why not? If we're to follow this up, we might need to talk to you again. Hello? Hello? We're really going to have to do something about our furniture. Do you think so? It was all right when I was out at work all day, but up here it's really beginning to get me down. Now, don't worry, you'll get a job soon. I'm serious. There's something in the colour supplement. There. That sort of thing. It's very nice. It's a bit pricey, though. I've still got some savings. Could buy it for my birthday. <laughs> I can imagine your face if I gave you furniture for your birthday. Postman's been, hasn't he? I wouldn't mind one of these stereograms. Our record player's knackered. Hand delivered. Charlie Denby has an unhealthy interest in young boys. Lock him up. You'll get a great sound in there, you will. Oh, wow. Inspector in the booth. If you want a copy, I've got plenty. Uh, no, thank you. I prefer proper singing. Uh, not that we've got a gramophone. But what can I do for you? I'd like to put this advert in your window. Certainly. Pension rate. Oh, oh that's right. Well, how does sixpence sound? The advert stays in till you get yourself fixed up. Oh, that's very kind. Uh, my sister and I have just moved into Laburnum Cottage, but uh, the guy was really too much for us. Oh, there's plenty of likely lads around here. You'll get yourself fixed up in no time. Oh, good. Well, our concerned rape pair on the phone said much the same. Keep an eye on Demby. He likes young boys. What do you know about him, Alf? A uh, bit uh, unconventional. More so since his father died. I've always found him a nice enough bloke. They probably said the same thing about that Philby. I ate anonymous tips, but we can't afford to ignore them. Check him out, Rowan. That's one pound, three and fivepence, ladies. Francis, have you bought your purse? No. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I'd more than this. That's OK, ladies. Settle up with me next time. Oh, how kind. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, pack it in, you lot. Or I'll put Frank Highfield on. Oh. <laughs> it's typical of those with pots of money. Never have to settle their debts like the rest of us. What makes you think they've got money? Advertising for a gardener. And the things going into their house. Not that I was watching, of course. I just happened to be passing. And it all looked to be expensive stuff. Claude? Oh. You're next. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, give, uh, give us a quarter of humbugs, Charlie. Oh, dear father would be turning in his grave if he could see this shop now. Well, wouldn't you prefer to have him in here rather than on the street? I chose not to bring children into this world, Mr. Denby. I'd rather not suffer other people's. I would have thought you, as a single man, would be the same. Having him around keeps me young. Stops me becoming narrow-minded. Humbug, Miss Hamilton. <laughs>